Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. We are going through SDLC phases. I think the last session we finished uh, with planning and requirements analysis phase and this one we will dedicate to design phase. Uh, in any industry, once the customer has given the specifications, someone must give a blueprint. Right. Typically the word blueprint came from uh, the drawing industry because in civil or uh, mechanical industry people do drawing. This will be like a elevation of the building or top view of the building or if you take mechanical industry it will be a uh, parts drawing or assembly drawing right and they used to make a carbon copy called the, the blueprint right so that design gives an insight of how the product will look externally and internally because when a civil engineer draws the diagram for the house or the building there will be an external view and for every room, for every cabin, you will see an internal view also with dimensions including in which direction the door has to open etc. So that is called design. Same way in software also, we need a design. Uh, in OpenMentor, we have specifically done one program for the software design and another program only for database design. You can also refer to those recordings in OpenMentor if you want to know in-depth details about DB design or software design. But this session will give you a macro view of software design. Usually the design contains uh, four parts. Okay, One is the UI design, second is the database design third is the interface design then fourth is the logic design okay there will be four parts UI design meaning UI means the screens how end user will view the product right you are seeing the screen of a notepad and this has got a file menu, this has got an edit menu, there are see three icons over here, right? So that is the way the UI has been drawn. If I go here and then click this format and then click on this, you are seeing this window, someone must draw, okay, this is how the layout should, there should be a block over here, there should be a list box over here, there are two buttons on the right hand side, right? That is called UI design. People can draw UI using uh, software like uh, Visio or uh, there are a lot of products called wireframes. Okay, Wireframes are the ones which are sleek tools to draw the UI, just the skeleton of it. But the UI needs to be done with uh, usability in mind. Uh, when you say usability, the screen must be simple for anyone to use it. Otherwise, if it is tough, people will go away from the product. So, a whole lot of information architecture and design principles, usability principles will be applied over here. And which color I have to use, what size I need to use, which kind of fonts are used, that is part of UI design. When you talk about DB, this is nothing but database. Database is the place where data is uh, finally stored, right? Using the screen, the data is obtained from the user and then displayed back to the user in a different format. Now, when you take database, it's uh, finally it's all tables. When you take tables, tables are nothing but rows and columns of data. So, what would be the structure of each table? 
what should be the primary key what should be the typically uh, table name column name within the table type of the field then size of the field then attributes like uh, primary key etc so someone has to define the database with all this information again there is a whole lot of science behind it there is something called uh, data collection then data collation then uh, removing the duplicates then uh, maintaining normal forms right so typically this will be done along with some of the software architects that's called database design then interface is nothing but a medium through which two programs talk to each other I talk to you in English so English is the medium between you and me you know the grammar of English I know the grammar of English so when I talk in English you are able to understand what I talk and this voice is conducted through the medium air right if there is no air whatever I talk you will not be able to hear it same way in programs in software there may be multiple programs they may communicate via LAN or internet or TCP IP or FTP different protocols right so how one program what is the send data and what is the receive data and the format usually uh, people will use data exchange medium like a mechanism called XML or uh, JavaScript object notation JSON or raw byte stream right or formatted text right there are different ways to send data back and forth from a program what should be my send structure what should be my receive structure from program A to program B this way for all the programs within your application you need to devise a mechanism of data exchange 